Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video I've got a brand new tripod to show you all. Now this tripod is made by iFootage. iFootage has launched a brand new range of tripods. You might have already know what I'm talking about. Yes they are the Gazelle series tripod. Now in this Gazelle series they made two models. One is a fastball type and the other one is called the uprise. Now fastball type uh, tripods have this special unique patented bowl head design whereas the other one has a center sturdy column with a swivel kind of bowl head and the company sent us their brand new Gazelle Uprise TC6 edition for us today. So in this video we'll be unboxing and reviewing this new tripod. So let's get started with the video. So the high footage Gazelle tripod comes in this sort of box packing. Now before I unbox it, let me tell you something about this tripod. This tripod comes in two variants, one is made of aluminum and the other one is entirely made of carbon fiber. The company sent us their carbon fiber model, the TC6. And the special thing about this carbon fiber tripods is they are super lightweight and are also super strong. They've got max payload capabilities of up to 8 kgs guys. That is insane. So let's unbox it and check out the tripod. So let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the box. By the way, I want to thank iFootage for sending me this product for review. Alright, here we go. The package looks really big, but it doesn't actually feel that heavy. Pretty lightweight for the size. I guess that's the magic of this carbon fiber tripod. So this is what we get in the package. We've got a nice carry bag over here. I think the tripod is inside this bag. Let me just take it out of this car. There you go. So the iFootage Gazelle tripod comes nicely packed in this black and red color carry bag. The quality looks good, we've got the iFootage branding, has a handle over here to easily carry it and also has a shoulder strap on the other side so you can even carry it on your back. Pretty nice, so let's open it and check out the product. I'm very excited for this because I've used a lot of tripods in the past but all of them were made of aluminum and this is my first tripod that's actually made of carbon fiber. So yeah, let's open it and check out the product. Here it is guys, our brand new iFootage Gazelle tripod and along with that we also have some paperwork. So in this packet you get a user manual, some iFootage branded stickers, a QC pass certificate and also a warranty card. Now let me take the tripod out of this bag and show you. So this is how our new Gazelle Uprise TC6 carbon fiber looks like. Holy smokes, just look at this beauty! Such an awesome looking piece of tech. We've got the iFootage branding and look at this. We've got carbon fiber over here. The tripod's legs are entirely made of multi-layered carbon fiber and feels very smooth to touch. I also really like this carbon fiber pattern. We'll talk about the design and all of its features in a moment, but have I told you that this tripod feels super lightweight? Usually normal tripods made of aluminum of the same size weigh around 2.5 to 3 kgs, but the iFootage TC6 is only 1.9 kgs and doesn't feel at all like I'm holding this big tripod. That is really awesome. Well, that was our unboxing and first look at this brand new tripod from iFootage. Now what I'll do is I'll just go out and give you guys an overview on the design, the build quality and we'll also talk about all of its features. So here is our Gazelle TC6 from iFootage. It comes in this beautiful red and black color combination and the legs of the tripod are entirely made of multi-layered carbon fiber including the center detachable column. Let me just give you guys a closer look. The carbon fiber design gives a very attractive and premium feel to the product. Not only about the looks, but carbon fiber is also very strong and much more lighter than aluminum. The standard aluminum variant of this tripod has only 6 kgs of max payload, whereas the carbon fiber model can take a max payloads of up to 8 kgs. The build quality of this product is top notch. The tripod even has a hand grip on one of its legs with the iFootage branding. And one thing that I've observed on this tripod is, there's not even a single plastic part on its body. So going down we've got this buckle system, these buckles are made of aluminum and you can single handedly open them and extend the tripod. We've got a total of 3 extension steps on this model. And have I told you that this tripod is also waterproof, it's got high quality anti-corrosive materials on it like those stainless steel screws and stainless steel feet. Coming to the feet. This tripod has multi-purpose feed. You can either switch between rubber or spike feed depending on the location. This thing is built to sustain any kind of extreme conditions and terrains. And going to the top, we've got a 75 inch swivel bowl head with a 3 8 thin screw at the top. Let me show you. And around the screw, you've got a rubber base to tightly hold the tripod's head. You can fix a variety of heads like ball heads, fluid heads that support this 3 8 inch thread. And it also has a spirit level on the top. Below the bowl head we've got two locks, the upper lock is used to adjust the bowl head position and the bottom lock is used to adjust the center column position. Now let me expand the tripod and show you how it looks like. 
The iFootage Gazel offers rapid height adjustment and effortless leg spreading. It's got a three-stage leg lock operation with different angles to provide endless creative possibilities. The first angle step is at 22 degrees. You just need to pull the legs apart from the center column until they stop at a certain angle. Now this is the most used setting on this tripod. But that is not it. The legs on this tripod can be spread even beyond that. On every leg, there's a special lock adjustment. You need to pull it out like this and now you'll be able to spread the legs up to an insane angle of 80 degrees. I've told you it's got three steps, right? It automatically locks at each step providing three different angles from 80 degrees to 55 degrees and lastly 22 degrees. So using these different combinations, you can get the perfect shot at any desired height. Now you might ask me a question like, when I spread the legs to the extremes, how will I put it on the ground because of that center column? Well, the height of the center column is also adjustable. And not only that, it can also be completely detached to put the rod upside down. You just need to loosen up this lock, adjust the height to the desired position and you're good to go. Looks awesome, right? It can go as low as 19.5 cm of working height for getting those extreme low angle shots which is impossible on the other regular tripods. Now let's extend the legs on the tripod and see how high the tripod can go. So as I've told you earlier, it's got three sections with two buckles and can go from super low to super high. Let me just show you. So this is how tall the tripod can go when you extend all of its legs. It can go from a minimum height of 19.5 cm to a max height of 165 cm. And the normal height of the tripod when folded is 63.5 cm from the ground. And if that is also not enough for you, then you can also extend the height of the center column and go even beyond that. So my height is around 5'9 and as you can see this tripod can easily reach up to 6 feet in height. And the best part is, it's super lightweight to carry. You can lift that a big thing with just a single hand. That is what I call awesome. Now let me show you how to adjust that swivel bowl head. You just need to loosen up this bowl mount lock and now you're free to adjust it as per your requirement. It's a 75mm bowl head and ideal for most of the situations. And below the bowl head, it also features a built-in 3 8 inch mount so you can also attach some useful accessories like a magic arm, a monitor, some LED lights or any other accessories. Now let me fix my camera on this tripod and share my experience using it. You can't fix a camera on it directly, you need to use some head like a fluid head or a ball head and then fix your camera on top of it. As you can see, I'm using a high quality fluid drag head from iFootage. The model is iFootage Komodo K5. This is one of my favorite fluid drag heads. It offers excellent quality results. I've already made a review on this product in the past. I'll leave a link to that in the card above. You can check it out there. So coming to the stability of the tripod, the Gazelle TC6 is durable, super strong and very sturdy while shooting. It's a multi-purpose tripod and can be used for both photo and videography. This tripod has a max payload capabilities of 8 kgs. I'm using my Panasonic Lumix G7 on it. You can even use big cameras like the Sony FS7 without any worries. Now let me tell you about the tripod feet. The tripod feet were very grippy on the ground. The multi-purpose feet, you can use a rubber foot pad for normal flat surfaces and switch to those spiky feet for other kind of terrains. And one more awesome feature that I liked about this product is, it even has an underslung feature. Yes, you can completely remove the center column, turn it upside down and fix your camera on the bottom side of this rod. This underslung mode allows you to shoot super low angle shots from the ground and also allows for top down shooting. So let me show you how you can do that. You see the center column, just hold it, unscrew this J hook at the bottom and pull it downwards to remove the rod, just like this. So the rod and the bowl head both get separated. Now what you need to do is put them upside down. That means insert the column from the top and attach the bowl head at the bottom. This rod goes through the center hole in only one direction. There's a cutout for that, so make sure to check it before inserting. Put the bowl head over here and tighten up the screw at the top. Now finally, you just need to fix your camera on the bottom side. And this is how the top down camera setup looks like. That is so cool, right? You can shoot some crazy low angle shots in this position. The J hook on the bottom of the center column actually serves a purpose. You can put some weights on it like your camera bag or any other weighted object to increase the stability of your setup while shooting. So when you keep using your tripods regularly for outdoor shoots and handle them a bit roughly, what happens is after an year, the screws and the allen keys get a bit loose and doesn't give you those perfect results like you used to get at the beginning. So to solve that problem, the company has also provided a free adjustment tool with the tripod. Using this, you can tighten up any of those loose hexagonal screws. It's a super useful tool and since it's placed on the tripod itself, you don't even need to worry about losing it. 
So that was my video on the iFootage Castle Upright TC6 carbon fiber tripod. It's a premium quality tripod with excellent features. I love the carbon fiber body, it's super strong, very lightweight, has different adjustment modes and can go from super low angles to really tall heights. The only thing I felt the company could have added was an option to bend the center column to a horizontal position so you could even shoot some over the head shots. Well, it's just a suggestion to the company and hope to see it in the future models. Rest everything else was great. I was very satisfied with this tripod. The pricing of the Gazelle series starts from 12,000 rupees and my carbon fiber TC6 model costs around 21,000 rupees. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.